Are you looking for the best pole saws in your budget? Well in today's video we break down the top 5 best pole saws that are available on the market. I made this list based on their price, quality, durability, and more. To find out more information about this product, you can check out the description below and also make sure you subscribe for more reviews. Okay so let's get started with the video. The fifth product on our list is the Bosch Cordless Preener Universal Chain Pole 80. While there are some fantastic electric and petrol pole saws out there, people often don't want to be dealing with trailing cables or having to make sure that they always have some spare petrol at home. This is where cordless pole saws really shine. And one of the most popular models out there is the Bosch Cordless Preener Universal Chain Pole 18. This pole saw certainly looks pretty snazzy, but how does it compare to the other pole saws available? And, more importantly, would it enable me to prune my trees in a quick and efficient way? That's exactly what I intended to find out. Some of the pole saws that I tested took a while to assemble, but this one was the fastest to put together, taking less than 5 minutes, since the chain and blade are already attached to the machine. All you need to do is click the two poles together, tighten the blade, and fill the machine up with oil. You don't need any extra tools to get this pole saw going. Bosch has given you everything that you'll need in the box. Up next in the fourth place is the Black Plus Decker PS7525 GB Corded Pole Saw. Famed for their budget-friendly yet reliable power tools and home appliances, Black Plus Decker is a brand with a huge lineup of products, one of which is their PS7525 GB Corded Pole Saw. When compared to higher-end models, this electric pole saw certainly looks the part, but does it perform as well as the pricier products out there? Fortunately, I had several trees in need of some pruning to help me find out just that. Assembling this pole saw only took about 7 minutes, which was helped by the fact that the chain is already fitted onto the blade, saving you from the fiddly process of unraveling and attaching it. All you need to do is attach the bar to the main unit and then fill the machine up with oil. In terms of design, this Black Plus Decker pole saw definitely boasts a few impressive features, such as its 2.7 meters extendable pole and its pivoting head. It's also equipped with a 25 centimeters blade, complete with a high-quality Oregon chain which will allow you to tackle some pretty thick branches. So, that's exactly what I did, with both evergreen spruce trees as well as apple trees. Turns out, I didn't need to worry about how it would perform, it handled everything that I asked it to, cutting through both green and dry branches neatly and quickly. With a cutting speed of 11.5 meters per second, it's the fastest electric pole saw that I tested and makes relatively quick work of every pruning job. This is helped by its 800W motor, making it the most powerful of the electric pole saws that I reviewed. You can definitely feel this power when using the machine. It makes each cut feel so much more effortless. The third product on our list is the Einhell Power Exchange 18V Cordless Pole Saw and Hedge Trimmer. If you're after a quality 2-in-1 tool, the Einhell Power Exchange 18V Cordless Pole Saw is a good choice. This tool doubles up as both a saw and hedge trimmer, and it comes with a continuously adjustable aluminium handle that extends from 88 cm to 182 cm. Assembling this pole saw took just a few minutes and was very simple. It comes with the battery and charger included, so you'll just need to make sure the battery is charged. In terms of design, it boasts a couple of impressive features. It has an extendable pole which can be continuously extended, so you can get it to the exact height you need. The maximum length is 1.82 meters. It's also equipped with a high-quality laser-cut steel blade, and the chain can be adjusted without the need for tools. The battery life is reasonable. If you're using the hedge trimming attachment, the battery will last up to 40 minutes, while you should get an hour of battery life when using the saw attachment. This saw is also fairly easy to use. It's easy to switch between the different attachments, and it comes with a shoulder strap included. It can be assembled in just a couple of minutes. At 3.9 kilograms, it's pretty lightweight although it does feel a little top-heavy. This is often the case with pole saws, and it's hard for them to feel very balanced. However, the weight of the head does balance on the branch you're cutting which makes it easier to hold the machine steady. It's definitely more difficult to control when fully extended, however. Second on our list is the Ryobi RPP750S Pole Pruner with Extension Pole. Loved for their pro-level yet affordable garden tools, Ryobi is a brand that I'm very familiar with. The Ryobi RPP750S Pole Pruner with Extension Pole sits in Ryobi's electric range of power tools and promises to make pruning hard to reach branches an easy feat. Since I had a number of overgrown sycamore trees around my farm that desperately needed to be cut back, I couldn't wait to put this pole saw into action to find out how good it really is. It's always a bonus when garden tools don't require too much assembly, so this pole saw made a great first impression, with the chain already fitted around the bar. All you need to do is slot the poles together and fill the machine with oil. 
Ryobi supplies a small amount of oil with this pole saw. And there's an oil display window at the side of the machine that makes it easy to keep things topped up. All in all, assembling this pole saw took about 5 minutes and, even better, it was simple enough that the instructions weren't needed. Ryobi tools are usually decked out in the brand's signature bright green color palette. And this pole saw is no exception. It looks sleek and high quality, especially once you take a closer look and see that it's fitted with a 20cm organ bar and chain. Its cutting head pivots to 15 degrees, which is pretty limited compared to other pole saws, but the fact that it boasts an easily removable center shaft, giving you 4 meters of reach in total, more than makes up for this. In terms of performance and speed, this pole saw is pretty much on par with the other electric pole saws that I test. At 10 meters per second, it slices through branches quickly, leaving a neat edge behind. It performed beautifully on all of my sycamore trees, and did well with the spruce branches that I tested it on too. Its 750W motor puts this pole saw somewhere in the middle of the scale when it comes to power. The Black and Decker had a slightly larger motor, but the ESKD had a smaller one. That said, the Ryobi still felt just as powerful as the Black and Decker. It had no trouble at all slicing through thicker branches. Finally, the top product on our list is the Hyundai 52cc Petrol Long Reach Pole Pruner. If you're looking for a pole saw that prioritizes power, then you've probably already dismissed electric cordless models in favor of petrol-powered machines, which are known for having extra oom. A quick search online will show you that the Hyundai 52cc petrol long-reach pole pruner is a popular choice. But what exactly is it about this pole saw that makes it worth the splurge? I put this machine to the test on a variety of evergreen and deciduous trees to find out how it compares to the other best-selling pole saws out there. Hyundai products can sometimes be a little fiddly to assemble, so I was pleased to find that this pole saw only took about 5 minutes to put together. There's not much to be done, other than attaching the handle and slotting the poles together. Then, fill it with petrol, oil using the provided mixing bottle, pour in some chain oil, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching, and that's all for now, I hope. To see you guys in the next video, till next time.